Alright, hello fun and welcome back to my Sunday night live stream of Kingdom Come Deliverance, where of course today we're continuing with our medieval adventure, where we are, I guess, heading towards where the uh, counterfeiter is? I did spend, like, a f after the last episode, I spent just a couple of minutes off cam after the last stream, just getting us over to Ravna, and then that is... Well, frankly, it, because I didn't want to do anything else until we got through that part of the story, too. And, yeah, it looks like we're heading towards some sort of counterfeiter to see where everything is rolling there. And hopefully then we'll find out more of what's going on in the world. I'm still intrigued why everyone seems so confused as to why the Cumans might be counterfeiting slash Sigismund, but, um... I mean, okay, hopefully we'll find out here momentarily where we go to the place where the counterfeit money is to be handed over. So, yeah, let's just head up uh, that direction into the woods and then get going. Where, oh boy, <laughs> still not quite, uh, quite over taking a sip before the stream from the, uh, with the water going down the wrong pipe, but we should be good to go. <laughs> if I sound a little bit hoarse, I do apologize. Oh, uh, it's always the worst, taking a yeah. sip and it going down the wrong freaking tube. But such is life on occasion. You know, why did I decide to go through the woods when there is a perfectly yeah. valid path for us to go? There we are. Lovely. Ooh, is this it? Oh. Oh. There's some dead folk here. Is this it? Or is this a random event? Oh, no, this is it. <laughs> Oh, and it's gotten bigger! It's gotten bigger! Huh. Also, E. Weasel, you're oh having God, what a... Bloody mess. Oh my god, my character's talking while I'm in the map! <laughs> Alright, that confused me for a moment while I was about to read E. Weasel's thing. You having a rye Manhattan? Nice. Yeah, I'm just choking on my own water today over here. Hot as hell here today, so just hydrating. Okay, so we now need to explore the crossroads. And, um, huh, figure out what happened here, I guess. All right, bow out. Well, I don't see any other people that might be problematic. Uh, but let's look at the guard. I'll take the Groshan, nothing else is of value. Uh, another guard? Same deal, Groshan, only thing, everything else. There we go. All right, now what's in here? Ooh, hard lock, very hard lock, in fact. Ah, uh, yo, take everything, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? We must have been in a hurry or they'd never have left it behind. I mean, was it that valuable? I guess for most people in this world, it would be for us though. Eh, not so much. <laughs> We're like crazy rich in this game. Ah, uh, good time, good times. And Beastie Bunny, I'm having coughing fits. Oh, God, not too far off. <laughs> Still apologize for the extra silence before the stream. I was just, I was, oof. Yeah, you know what? You know, I, I really should know better than take a sip of my drink while walking upstairs. But, <laughs> oh, apparently we've completed the Explore Crossroads. Follow the Trail of Blood? Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, Blood. Where's that going? Oh! Alright, there it is. Now we just have deer poop. I've lost the blood. Are we sure that was the right way to go? <laughs> I mean, we got a lot of blood here. Ooh, a lot of blood that should be by someone else. Huh. Yeah, that would make the most sense to go with there, that blood. Well, let's try it again. Ooh, examine. Someone was wounded here. Uh-huh. Looks like another person dragged him off. Maybe there'll be some tracks. Got it. Cool. Did I didn't even figure that out last time, and yet still the quest moved forward. Yeah, but then I lose the blood around here. Well, I guess the footprints, that looks like it's going that way. But then I don't see anything. Except for deer poo. Huh. Oh, oh, we picked up some more. There we go. 
I'm on the right track. Wonderful. All right, keep going this way. We got another cart. Oh, more blood. It looks like blood. Yes, magnificent. Uh, I'm not seeing any more blood, but we seem to be going towards the charcoal burner's hut. Oh boy, I don't see I don't see any. Back to the last one I found. Uh, I mean, it really seems like it should be going this way. I don't see where it could be potentially going off on any side of the trail. So yeah, we'll just keep going down this direction. We are still within the zone. Oh, there's some blood. Oh, ho, ho, magnificent. And there we go. Charcoal burners. Someone must have seen or heard something. Awesome. Also, apparently from that, I got hunting points. I guess that kind of makes sense, you know, following a trail of blood. Huh. And Blackwater, you've got a game recommendation for me. Ever hear of a game called Veil of the Shadow of the Crown? It sounds familiar, but I... Mm. Yeah, it sounds familiar, but I'm not 100% sure. All right, what exactly we got in the quest now? The trail from the crossroads led me to the charcoal burner's camp. It could very well be they, or they who ambushed the wagon. There should be an R there, it looks like. So I'd better tread carefully. At the very least, they surely must have heard or seen something. Hmm. All right. Well, we got that dude over there, but let's see. Anyone in here? No. Check the huts first, just in case they've hit a body somewhere in here. You never know. Nope. All right, talk to the one guy I can see. Oop, all right. Hello! God's blessings. What can I do for you? Well, what happened at the crossroads? What happened at the crossroads? Huh? Huh, what? How dare you say, huh? I have all the stats in the world. It isn't hard to guess what happened. Listen, there's corpses lying on the road out there, a ransacked wagon, and a trail that leads right here. Now, you seem to be honest and friendly folk, not marauding cutthroats. Are they there? So I prefer to believe you don't have anything to do with it. But... But what? But, if you don't start helping me, I might change my mind. Mm-hmm. I don't know nothing, and I haven't seen nothing. If you want to know something about it, just ask Boyar. I don't want nothing to do with it. Fair enough, random man. Okay, talk to Boya. Who's Boya? Who is this Boya? Boya cracks the whip around here. You'll recognize him by his red cap. Thank you. Ah, got it. Thank you. All right, bye. Goodbye. All right, well, I got an A over here, so let's go that way. I think we've chatted with this dude before. Maybe? Oh, we got a B, too? Wait, what? Oh, I have a feeling that's the... Hold on a moment. Yep, that's the search zone. Never mind, we're good. Go talk to Boria. There might be more things to discover in the B... Oh, which B zone over here, too? Wait, what? Oh, it's like a weird shape. Okay, fair. I was about to say, why did we suddenly leave and then come back into it? Huh. All right. Well, boy, yeah. Good health to you. And to you, maybe, maybe not. So, the wagon. What do you know about the wagon that's been ambushed at the crossroads? I haven't a clue what you're talking about. <laughs> really? Do you not now? Yes. Is that a problem? It is. I could again go with any of them, but... Do you know whose the wagon was? Do you have any idea whose wagon it was? I don't know. I don't care. Well, I'll tell you. I'm sure you've heard of the gang that burned down Neuhof. Possibly. And poisoned the well in Merhoyed. They're the kind of men you don't want to get on the wrong side of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I didn't get on the wrong side of them, though. Did I? The opposite. Actually, we helped them out. Oh! I didn't even know who they were. What happened? And yet you helped them out, so clearly you do know who they Let's were. Let's just get this straight. We didn't ambush anyone. And what were you doing at the crossroads, then? We were just passing, and we saw the wagon. So we took the sacks. Just the sacks? What about the trail of bloodstains leading to the camp? Mm -hmm. I, I was just getting to that. We also found one wounded man. What am I saying, wounded? Um, 
The fellow was hot like a martyr in some holy picture. Hey, what? He begged us to hide him away. Oh, so did he, he now? Somewhere. Is he still alive? The fellow has quite a will to live. I'll give him that. Uh huh. So who ambushed the wagon then? Do you know who ambushed that wagon? Not a clue. We came a long way after. I don't know if I believe you. Say anything? Did he tell you anything? He wasn't exactly talkative. His lungs are full of holes, so talking's a problem. Yeah, okay, that's fair. So, I want to talk to him. Where is he? We've locked him away, in the shed. There. I want to talk to him. I, I, I don't know. He paid us. We're not to let anyone near him. I don't mean to hurt him. I mean, I might. So be it. Here. Take the key. Thanks. Wonderful. Good luck. Good thing you chose to give me the key, because I would have easily taken all of you down. All right. Well, over to this building, it looks like. Lovely. And unlock. All right, yo, mercenary. Oh, mercenary. Wait, really? Huh, would have thought it'd be labeled bandit, but no mercenary. All right. Who are you? Your doom, perhaps? Talk and you'll live. Do as I say, and you might walk out of here alive. What? What's that? What do you mean? Don't you know exactly me. what. Just answer my questions, and I might even help you. Well, if you say so. Mm-hmm. So, who are you working for? Who is it you work for? Who did the wagon belong to? To Menhart. He's some kind of merchant who hired me for protection. But that's all I know. Hmm. And where's this Menhart disappeared off to? No idea. I blacked out after the attack. Only came to my senses once I got here. I don't even know where here is. You know, that's fair. That's fair. And the ambush? Who ambushed that wagon? A knight. He's been following us for a while. A knight? Where did he go? I don't know. I got a beating, and then I passed out. Ha! Huh. Tell me about the knight. Tell me more about the knight. Oh, why do we fade to black? What? What? This worries me, but also intrigues me. Are we going to see, like, the dude's flashback or something? Oh! Oh, we got things going down. Where's the coin? What? What coin? I will not repeat the question. Oh, hey, it's the dude. I, I don't know about any coin. I ah, the... How Where dare you hit Borya? took from the wagon. Sucks. They're behind the shed. Oh, they did take the coin. That's him. That's got to be that knight. All right, time to murder. Is that all? Did you take anything else? Dude's old. Fuck, stop! Stop right there! Yo, what up? He's gonna run, isn't he? Son of a... <laughs> Catch the mystery knight. Can I shoot his horse? Will I have the time? Oh, oh God, what the... Horse! My horse! Let's roll, buddy! Took you long enough. Jesus. Alright, alright, where'd he go? Oh, God, I'm running into things now. Huh. Is he over, over here? Oh god, where'd he go? <laughs> I'm following the A. I'm following the A. Oh, oh god. Where? Oh boy. I'm gonna lose this man, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> I went like the entirely wrong direction, didn't I? Or did he actually go through the woods like this? Oh yeah, there he is. Hi. I see him through the trees. Oh, no. I'll never hit him with this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nope, that's a mess. Uh, oh god, he is yeah. darting around like hell. Huh. Yeah, that's not a that's not a hit. Oh jeez. Yeah, no, 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 no. Just keep going, keep going, you fool. Oh, no, I I turned. Oh boy. Yeah. Where in the heck is he going? All right, he is just all over the freaking place. He's just darting back and forth between every goddamn thing. Just gonna make it real hard for me to shoot his horse. All right, all right, we're in more open area now with less trees. I'm happier about that. 
Ooh, though, will my horse be able to handle this situation? Oh, yeah. oh God, I, I slowed, I slowed, oh God. All right, all right, oh, he, he stopped. <laughs> Does the game really want me to catch him? Uh, okay, okay, and... Oh. He's down. <laughs> yes! Oh, he's coming at me! How dare you! No, I missed him, I missed him, I missed him. Oh. Oh, run away, run away, run away. I'm a bowman. And... Oh, oh I hit a shield, dang it, I hit a shield. Oh, oh boy, I am doing this very poorly. And... Oh. Here we go. I kind of need him alive, though. This isn't good. All right, poison arrows for everyone. I should search him. He's dead. Hey, my arrows. Well, we did it. Not our finest moment, but then again, I mean, we're we're wearing knightly armor, but we, you know, shoot people with bows. Ulrich's documents. Ooh, dorky. Well, I mean, we're taking all of it. There we go. All right, all right. All right. Robber Baron's sword. Be shield. Give Tobias Fayfar the documents the knight was carrying. Who's Tobias Fayfar? All right. First off, first off, we're gonna take a look at the stuff ourselves. Yep. All right. Safe conduct. What? Accord to the good gentleman Ulrich of Passau. Huh? We, the Alderman of the great and glorious city of Passau, do I hereby wish God's grace and mercy and do offer goodwill to all and sundry princes, religious and secular, dukes and counts, margraves, barons, lords and other nobles, chamberlains, ministers and counselors, knights and squires, hetmen and captains, custom officials, treasurers and officials and bailiffs of cities, towns and villages and other settlements and their elders, dear God, it just keeps going, and governors and to all other who are subject to faithful and faithful to the Holy Roman Empire and to all who, by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, shall take into their hands this missile. Esteem, gracious, noble, and faithful friends, we hereby recommend to you, each and all the holders of this parchment, the venerable knight Sir Ulrich, oh boy, good gentleman and our loyal friend who shall soon come to our kingdom of Bohemia as our envoy. <laughs> oh... Hmm, gotta be Forge, right? Gotta be Forge, right? Oh, boy. And we ask you to receive him upon his arrival with the same goodwill and respect you graciously afford us to uh, treat him kindly and to suffer him to travel and to assist him in his journey and to allow him safe conduct over all roads, ports, bridges, lands, etc. Your good graces to see Sir Ulrich safe and unmolested passage and the mission to uphold the honor and the good name of the great city set down in the city of Passau, year of our Lord 1403. Okay. Hmm. Well, I killed an emissary. I'm around with that. So who are we taking this to? Open the map. There we go. And... What the hell's over here? Oh, yeah, the check-in on everyone after I've healed them. Uh, we gotta go to Rite. Cool, 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 cool. Am I on the horse? Yes. Put away the bow. We'll go to Rite. We'll check up on the people of Merhajed later. So, yeah, over to Rite. There we go. Boy, so this guy was like an official knight with an uh, the whole spiel of being an emissary, but was dealing with the fake coins... Huh. Sci-fi, Hal found an accident site, maybe. <laughs> yes, I had nothing to do with it. I just found this man dead in the road. I mean, we probably should have also arrested that one dude over at the charcoal burner camp, but oh well. Oh well. And passing through Mayor's head. Hope you're all well now. Maybe not. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, so we appear to have killed some sort of emissary of the city of Passau. Intriguing. 
Huh. Well, I guess I actually sh I was wondering... Avoid. I was wondering how that the uh, this might connect with the counterfeits and all, but it wouldn't be too surprising if within Bohemia, of course, and I'm sure there were uh, traitorous lords siding with Sigismund. Granted, again, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Uh, Sigismund does win this overall, so maybe we should join his side, but oh well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> In sci-fi, the accident happened nearest to previous levels where Hal is justice, so... You know, fair, fair. He was a rogue, a brigand, I thought, as I was protecting my fief. Lovely. Oh boy, it's gonna be pretty late by the time we actually get into Rite here. Oh well, still, do our thing. Hmm. All right, in we go for this. A very slow loading. Interesting. Yeah, God, really slow loading. And let's see, Gray Lensman, he did attack without trying to talk his way out of it. I mean, yeah, well, he didn't really attack. He ran off until I shot him off his horse. So... And sci-fi maybe to sway his uh, armor at the tavern as a trophy. If only! Whose horse is that? I think that's Sir Capon's. Oh, why is Sir Capon's horse there? I don't know, but oh well, in to uh, the castle. We haven't been here in a while. Neat. Oh god, pardon me, gentlemen. Please, please move. I assume just straight in here. Pardon me, madam. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hello? Oh, yep. You're the guy. Hi, Tobias Fayfar. Greetings. What business have you? First off, what up? So, about the fake Groshan. Oh, yeah. He was the dude who talked about that. Yeah. Master Fayfar, I need to speak with you. I found out something about the counterfeit coin. Uh-huh. Did you really? Do tell. Close to Rovna. I came across a wagon that was transporting the false coins. Unfortunately, I came too late. The carter and his men were dead. Mm -hmm. Damn it, Blast. Do you know who did it? Yes. A certain knight turned up there. Unfortunately, I was forced to fight him and I killed him. I didn't get the chance to interrogate him. Oh. Oh, I see. Did he carry any emblem, at least? It would be good to know who's involved. Oh, yes. Emblem? No, Master Fayfar. Well, he did. No oh. at all. The shield was white. But he had these but papers. Had these papers. Yep, papers. Mm. Let me see. We, the aldermen of the city of Passau, mm -hmm. interrogation held this day, put to pain by the quester. The place of origin is a monastery in the land of Bohemia. Oh, mm. I don't remember that, but okay. confirms my suspicion that something underhand is going on in Sasso. Coin <laughs> in Sasso? Copper core coated with amalgam. Ah, well, this is interesting. Here's an outlying description of how the forgeries are made. Wait, seriously? I'll have to study it more closely. They just included a summary? Huh. Ulrich to investigate and let no man stand in his way. Oh. This looks like the original safe conduct. It has the seal of the Paso Alderman. But they certainly didn't pen this. Oh. I recognize the hand. It's the Clement of Caplitz, the high scribe of the Rosenbergs. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I was a little bit worried when he said uh, the guy was seemed to be investigating. I may have just killed uh, someone who was doing the same thing as me, but then it seems to be a forgery. So yeah, these Rosenbergs, huh? The Rosenbergs? Who's that? A rich and powerful family in South Bohemia. Uh-huh. Burgrave Henry III is a great rival of our King Wenceslas. Oh, uh, okay. So siding with Sigismund. Got it. And what does it mean? So what does all this mean? I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, we should be careful. Got it. And we shall begin our investigation. The documents show they use silver amalgam for coating copper fakes. That's a lead we can follow. Amal what? Silver amalgam. It's produced from quicksilver and silver. Well, that uh -huh. doesn't sound like something just anyone can get hold of. Certainly mm. not. You're quite right. You will go to Sasso at once. Look around the forges in the city. Got it. Someone must be working copper for them. I, meanwhile, will take counsel with Sir Radzik and then follow after you. Where shall we meet? 
at the Ian on Sasso Market Square. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm out. See you later. The other things are unrelated to our quest. We've learned something about Heinrich III von Rosenberg, but oh well. Let's head to what we need to for forger. Well, actually, let's go to bed first. Over here at the mill, since we do have a bed in the area. And then we'll head quickly over to Marriott at the beginning of next step, or uh, for the next day, and then head to Sassau to investigate the forgeries, which apparently are being made here. That seems odd, but okay. Yeah. Hopefully we'll find information that makes it all make sense, but all uh, right. Hmm. Okay, so over to here. And... Lovely. You know, we haven't talked to Teresa in a while. Hi, Teresa! I've got something for you. Oh, do you? I got them from Uncle Peshek. Oh. Just don't go poking them where you shouldn't. Wait, what? Uh, they're lockpicks. They're not really intended for poking in your own locks. True. <laughs> but at least don't get caught. And if you do, you didn't get them from me. Got it. Okay, so she... Cl I, I was never 100% sure if she knew what Peshek did. But now, now we know. Now we definitely know for sure. She is complicit. Got it. I'd like her more now. I'd like... Oh, would you... Oh, no, that's just like going on a date. Eh, I'd rather not do that right now. Eh, I'm good. <laughs> got some lockpix, though, out of the whole deal, so yay. All right, got that. And to bed. And then, yeah, head over to Merhajed. There we are. Good nine hours of sleep. Again, uh, if only. <laughs> oh, God, I think I got like five hours of sleep last night. Uh, but, oh, well, let's get this. You know, suspensions of disbelief, fantasy, all that. And then go check on Merhajed, see how people are doing over there, and then head to Sasau to see how uh, the counterfeiting is going there. I'm actually kind of surprised the counterfeiting is being done in the area. But, oh well. Alright. Let's eat some stew. Lovely. And be on our way. Got it, got it, got it. To be a cephalus, my friend! Let's ride. Actually, wait, hold on, hold on, before I leave, before I leave. Yeah. <laughs> They're all asleep. Uh, there it is. Beautiful. <laughs> Another thousand groschen for us. Heck yeah. All right, how many we got now? <laughs> 201 Groshen on us, and I think I've probably got like 40,000 back at the village. Nice. All right, all right. Over over here first. We'll go a little bit roundabout way to uh, Sasau. Lovely. All right. Yeah, I'm hoping everyone's doing pretty good over there. I think we, even though there was some confusion about how it actually worked last time with how we were healing people, we did eventually get it all. So hopefully everyone's happy and healthy. I mean, maybe not entirely happy. They did get attacked by raiders and all and lost a fair amount of people. But, you know, yeah. Hopefully at least enough of them are happy to be alive at the very least. So yeah, check in on them. Yeah, I'm kind of intrigued why the counterfeiting would be going on here. You'd think you'd be wanting to do it f further away in an environment like this. But, or doing it over by Scalates where all the freaking silver actually is. But, alright, alright. Hmm. Jay, the fact that the potions did not go away was funny. Yeah, I'm still confused by that, that the potions just didn't go anywhere. Was that, that was a big reason I didn't know if I was actually healing anyone. 
Because <laughs> I, I actually probably still have the potions in my inventory now. In fact, let's check that. To the inventory. Uh... Yup. <laughs> we got the remedies for Merhajed. We still have them here. Freaking hell. All right, all right, where's Brother Nicodemus? He's probably who we gotta talk to. Or not. Oh, it's this dude, okay. Hey, Melikar. God be with you, good sir. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hey, how you doing? How's it looking, Melikar? I'm glad to see you, Henry. I'd like to thank you again. Uh-huh. Everyone is cured. It's nothing short of a miracle. No, it was science. That's a relief. You've suffered enough. We've all suffered enough. God's true. You know, the folk here are truly grateful. They'd have you and Nicodemus canonized if they could. <laughs> they brought me gifts for the two of you. I wasn't keen on the idea at first. We're not left with much since the livestock died. But since you're here... I mean, fair. Fair. Got some vitality and reputation gain. Nice. You know... Your need is greater than my. I've got. I, we literally just found out we have 201,000 groschen. <laughs> no, no. I can't possibly accept that. Give it all back, Melikar. With my thanks. That's kind of you. I'm glad you appreciate our situation. Things are tough, all right. I understand. I'm just glad everything turned out well. Mm -hmm. So am I, lad. So am I. Plus, I'm hoping. I'm hoping, ooh, I didn't, oh, dang. I was hoping with telling him no, that maybe we'd get another ding uh, ad adding to our reputation, but I didn't see a thing for that. It what still might have. How is our reputation with Merhajed, by the way? <laughs> yeah, could be, could be higher, could be higher. Oh, well. Onward to Sassel. We've got, actually got from what I saw earlier. Oh, God, yeah, a lot to search. Ha, ah, boy. You know, we do, I kind of want to check this out at some point. Ever since we did took that one perk that gave us everything. I want to check it out, but that feels like that'd be bad at this point. We should at some point, though. But yeah, do the monastery. Let's roll. So we gotta check out the forges and such. The forge, even though we got the giant bubble, the only forge is actually, you know, over in front of the monastery. Which makes me kind of wonder why the bubble is over the entire thing. Why would the monastery be involved in counterfeiting? Huh. Huh. And Jay, is there an arrow sticking out of Henry? Wait, what? Was there? <laughs> I mean, I doubt it. We were the ones shooting the arrows, not receiving them. I didn't notice anything during that cutscene, if that's what you're going for there. Huh. Well, let's go talk to people. Also, should probably check what we're actually looking for on the quest, frankly. Just to be on the safe side of things. Well, my counterfeits get the quick silver. Someone sass house is applying the counterfeiters with copper sheets. It won't do any harm to check out the local forges. The forgers need quick silver to make their amalgam. It's definitely not a run of the mill item, and some from sass house must be providing it. So, yeah, just check the forges. Which forge number one is right here? All right. That's good talking. Vetus! God save you. What can I do for you? Also, Jay, during the conversation, looked like there was an arrow behind... Oh my god, there is! <laughs> I didn't notice it in the previous cutscenes, but oh my god, it's right there. It's right there. Huh. How? No one ever shot an arrow at us today. We were the ones shooting the arrows. Huh, but yeah, Jay, it's definitely there. It's definitely there. And this dude, well, look at the trade. Does he have Quicksilver in his for sale? <laughs> I doubt that's going to be what pops up. Nope. Uh, how about you, Zach? I'm at your service, Sir Knight. 
and sci-fi the monk alchemist providing the quicksilver well first off the first person we have who actually has a thing i mean he's the only the second person we talk to so uh hey do you work with copper do you work any copper here master blacksmith why'd you ask oh i'd like to have something made i'd want to commission you to make something then you best go elsewhere I never use copper. Fair enough. Ah. Why is why is there an arrow ba uh, back there? God be with you. Uh huh. All right, let's check the others. I believe him. Yeah. Beastie Bunny a ricochet off the dude. You know, that's certainly a possibility. That's. I mean. I, I kind of doubt it's actually what happened, but you never know. Ah. Oh! <laughs> Tree! <laughs> Bucephalus, you betrayed me. Well, really, I betrayed myself. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, I can harvest it. I can... It's, a, it's one of mine, definitely. A better piercing arrow. I can't actually grab it because I have to stop. And I can only grab it when I'm moving. I can only see... Oh, what the hell? <laughs> so it sits back there. But I can only see the thing when I'm actually moving. But I can't grab it until I stop. Huh. I'm curious if that'll last forever. Yeah. Weird. Cal is slow clapping caged. <laughs> Why is it back there? Kind of freaking me out. How? Wow. How? Why? Uh, dang. Is this further in or was that that one there? Was that one there? Was that one there? You dang fool. I was so enamored with the arrow in my back. And there's not a blacksmith here anymore, unless there's a new one. Huh. 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 No, I can only see it when I'm on the horse. Otherwise, I just turn. Dang. <laughs> the sun may burn, the sun may shine, but you. Hey, Mikish, you doing that whole I hope I can be of thing again still? So, hey, you ever work with copper? Do you ever work with copper here? No, and even if I wanted to, I couldn't. Zach from the Monastery Craftsman's Yard has bought out all the <gasps> copper. Oh, I just talked to him, though. That liar. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Well, I mean, I'm still going to ask over here, but thank you, Mikhail. Wait, was that his name? I forgot now. I literally saw it a moment ago, and I've already forgotten. We got a new guy here? Hi. Uh, my humble greetings. How may I serve you? Nothing. See you later. Oh my god, Zack was a liar. He was a liar? I figured some of the monastery wouldn't be because, you know, that seems off. Granted, it's not like the church hasn't done shady things in their past. <laughs> Plenty of, in fact. But still, but still. Honestly, the blacksmith there, I just kind of figured would be too busy with all the things with building the new church. But, oh well. Yeah, back to Zack. Back to Zack. Let's see if we can find out anything more about this guy. Maybe around the place? Oh, where does he live? Oh, no. In Galatus, I knew he was shifty. Jay, okay, no longer trust Zack. I mean, definitely don't trust Zack anymore. Vetus, you're all right. Can you tell me more, Vetus? <gasps> copper. Your father says you don't work any copper. We don't. Uh-huh. differently around town. They say your father's bought up all the copper to be had. Are you calling me a liar? I am. Or my father. You're asking for it, boy. I will murder you. So, we'll go with this one. You're right. It's nothing to me either way. Right. So clear off. I mean, beside the fact I'm here on behalf of the Royal Burgrave Sir Radzig Cobbler, uh -huh. investigating a grievous crime against the crown. What? What are you talking about? I'd let you read my bill of authority, but I doubt you're educated enough to understand it. Do we have a bill of authority? When did we get that? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize. If I'd known, of course I wouldn't. I mean, you understand, don't you? Stop prattling, for God's sake, and start telling me the truth. Mm -hmm. What's the story with the copper at your forge? You're right. 
we do make copper sheets here at night. Why the secrecy? So why all the secrecy about it? Father forbade me to talk about it. I don't know why. I didn't ask. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who are they for? Who buys those sheets from you? I don't know. I've never set eyes on him. Father doesn't like to talk about it. Niwi's a like, grifter at a middle ages monastery who'd have thunk. <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> Your father's in trouble. Your father has some serious explaining to do. Ooh, I'm so point. sorry. If I'd known who you were, I'd never have taken such liberties. Mm-hmm. You know, you're just a you're just a son, you know, trying to protect his father. It's not your fault. But give me the give me the dirt on your father. Never mind. You weren't to know who I am. You were just protecting your father's business interests like any good son. Thank mm -hmm. you. Good luck then. Okay, so God, I still want that arrow in my back. Why can't I grab it? <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Zach. Yeah, about that copper. So back to that copper, Master Blacksmith. What? I thought I told you I don't work with copper. Well, your son confessed. Throw him under the bus. Your son put it quite differently. What's that? What are you blabbering on about? Don't be angry with him. I didn't give him any choice. All right. I suppose there's no point lying. We do make copper sheets here, and I want you to keep it quiet. Why? Pays me good money, and the people I do it for. I wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of them. Okay. Is someone threatening you? Did they threaten you? They didn't have to. Just by the look of them, I could say I needed to shut my mouth and do what they wanted. And did they ever tell you who they were? Do you know where to find them? I know a little. I'd show some understanding. There's nothing but trouble in it for me. I'll lose the work and be left looking over my shoulder for some thugs to come and burn down my house. Or worse. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hmm. It, I mean... I'd like to, but you shouldn't be working with criminals. If you lie down with dogs, you shouldn't complain about the fleas. There's no need for threats. We can both benefit here. Ooh, if I'm, I'm here. I'm listening. Own, you can help me with a certain small matter. One that'll cover up for my loss of earnings. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, I kind of want to do this because speech and all, but I'm intrigued. What's the matter? So what are we talking about? I recently tried to buy Master Armorer Otto Rabstein's business for my son Vitas. Oh. But that old fool wouldn't listen to reason. He said he couldn't understand his legacy being taken over by a clod like my Vitas. <laughs> Despite the insult, I doubled my offer. But Master Otto still wouldn't budge. Uh -huh. What does uh -huh. he need from me? I thought I'd show Otto that Vitas isn't such a dolt as he thinks. But for that, I need someone experienced in combat. Ah, uh, crap. Uh, I'm not. I I shoot people with bows. Uh, I can handle it though. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. What's your plan? What's your plan? Otter's busy making a very pretty suit of armor for the bailiff. So I was thinking, if we could show that pretty armor of his is absolutely useless, he'd be disgraced. And how am I supposed to see to that? Well. I reckon we'd arrange a duel of champions with bludgeons. Uh-oh. You'll put on Vitus's armor, and Otto will send his champion in that tin shit of his. You invite the bailiff to watch, and Otto will be made a laughingstock in front of everyone. Uh -oh. what do I get out of it? What I'm not good at fighting. Agreed? I'll give up dealing in copper, and I'll tell you everything I know about what's been going on. What if I lose? But what if I lose? Nonsense. How could you? Light as his armor is light as an eggshell and hard as a rock. Ha! Ooh, but supposing the armor went missing. How about if the armor for the bailiff mysteriously went missing? Jesus Christ! Don't even talk about it. Well, why not? Although, if Otto doesn't agree to the duel, it might be the only option. Exactly. And if you want to wreck Otter's reputation, not keeping his promise to the bailiff could be even worse for him than your idea. Oh. Right. 
do whatever you think fit then. But if the armor gets uh, lost, don't come to me afterwards. I know nothing about it, right? Of course. <laughs> Me weasel, if only we knew a skilled thief. I know, right? Okay, we're out. <laughs> we got a job. Let's do this. All right, well, <sighs> quest. Is it a different thing now? No. Ah, this one. Rattled. Got it. Got it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So turn you off. Challenge the Master Armor Otta to a bludgeon duel or steal the Bailiff's armor from Otta's workshop. Yep, let's go do some thieving. Because <laughs> that's what I'm good at. I am not good at fighting people. That's why I used bows and arrows, and the arrows dipped in the greatest poison I'm able to make. Yeah. <laughs> I specifically avoid combat. Oh boy, alright, let's try not to get hit by the tree this time. There we go. And go steal some armor. And Jay, this will be bad. I mean, it may be. It may be. But if we steal it, we're all good. We're all good. Hmm. All right. All right. Let's go take that. God, we're going to have to figure out where it is. Oh, boy. Somewhere in this place. Oh, jeez. Well, let's do some scouting. We might have to do it next episode when it's at night because we are getting a little bit close to time. Oh, wait. Wrong building. All right? Ah, oh, this one here. This one here. Yeah, okay. Wrong one. Wrong one. So where's the armor? It might be there. Oh, there's a person there, but that might be the chest in question. Huh. Yeah, I bet it's in, like, the main chest. Could be down here. Nope. Yeah, it's probably that chest over there, unless there was another area here? And no, it doesn't look it. It's probably the chest upstairs. Yeah, I don't like that one person being right there, though. Who's sleeping at this time of day? Oh, that's only a hard lock? It's not a very hard lock. Wait, where's this very hard lock chest? You know, the one that we actually take for the store stuff? Uh-oh. Back here? No? Huh. Yeah, they're always very hard locks. And yet we have two decent sized chests that are just hard locks. Interesting. Am I going to have to steal it from him? Is it on him? Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, it's a possibility, certainly, but... Yeah, I mean, this... Mm, I don't like that that's only... Betwixt. Your name is Betwixt. Huh. Weird. All right, well, yeah, I'm a little confused by why I'm not seeing a very hard chest anywhere. But... I mean, maybe it's where they live in here? And Jay, yeah, I mean, yeah, we've got the hard lock things. But the problem, I mean, I just, I'm just confused because the, the store chests are always seem to be very hard locks. Where's that guy going? I don't like you. Oh, oh, and now another person's moved in here. Okay, okay. They've both, they've both gone. Sweet. 
Nope, just close. All right. Get it. <laughs> it was that one. I'll be darned. Oh, hey, how's it going? Don't mind me, Master Otta. <laughs> okay, go and get our reward for stealing the armor. Got it. I mean, we can apparently still talk to him, but... Wait, what? Yeah, this guy stole the armor. Let's go do that. Biocephalus? Let's ride, buddy. He was a little not sus, not at all. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Just some dude in armor creeping out, crouching yeah. from your upstairs bedroom. Uh, yeah, and after you have your uh, armor go missing, surely no one would suspect. <laughs> Sci-fi, challenge him to a duel. Now, how can you lose? I'd rather just get my reward for the stealing. I'm, I suck at combat. Yeah. That's why we always just shoot people. No, oh, no, oh, God, wait, what? Oh, hi. God, that arrow's still in my back. You know what? One of you guys said something early. I don't remember who now, but... Let's see. Oh, no. Oh. We'll remove the shield. And then if I look back behind me... Yep, it seemed to have been on the shield. Weird. Well, now... Hey, it's gone! Yay! <laughs> hey, Zach, how's it going, buddy? So, uh... Armor went missing. I heard that fine suit of armor Otter made for the bailiff disappeared from his house. Yeah, huh? Jesus! The place is crawling with thieves these days. Thank Christ it didn't happen to me. I know, but right? But at least... Ah... Uh, I see what you mean. Wow, you really? That I get rid of your competition, and you tell me what you know about the counterfeiters, remember? Yep. Failed the challenge to a duel, but okay. What can you tell me? So, out with it. How was it all arranged? One evening, I got a visit from this scruffy beggar calling himself Rapota. Rapota? He had a yellow cape on and kept whistling to himself. Mm, there was okay. a knight with him too, but he didn't give his name. He may be dead. They told me what I had to do, how much I'd get for it, and I had to keep my mouth shut. Hmm. And where can I find this Rapata? Or the knight? I don't know exactly. But I've always left the wagon with the goods behind the monastery, on the hill there, next to a small chapel under a big tree. Anything else? No. I swear that's all I know. Well, that'll do me for now. Okay, well, bye. Goodbye. All right. Well, we reached a new main level, and we also get an extra point in speech earlier. Let's see what we got there. Ha ha ha! All right, we only have these two. So, Troubadour. More reputation we talk to women. You can avail Barwinch's services for free. <laughs> Or final offer. When a trader loses patience with uh, you during haggling, you get one more chance. Yeah, I'll go with that. I, I'll get more use out of that than being able to fail bar wenches of, or bath wenches, rather, of their services for free. We'll go with final offer. <laughs> Yay, that's more useful to us. Magnificent. All right, so check out the place where the materials are held, but that will be... Oh, God, wait, where... Uh-huh. All the things are going. Go and speak with Master Fafar. All right, there we are. I was about to say, we kept getting a lot of things updating. Uh, Chris Log. Okay, so... Ooh, boy. All right, so we go check that out. Or go talk to Master Fafar. Huh. Well, we'll figure that out next time, and that'll be a good place to end this particular episode today. And in the next episode, we'll continue with this track on uh, that we're currently on for finding the counterfeiters and see where it does take us. But hopefully you all have enjoyed of this one, and you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching as always. Well, have a good one. <laughs>